just like it's a matter of experience and trusting yourself and your coach and your confidence. Obviously, trusting the process is a strategy that works well for Parker Valby. Given how she performed at the indoor track and field season opener a few weeks back, it's pretty obvious that trusting her coaches and herself is one of the best things she could ever do. And she is still basically at the collegiate level. Some of you may not know much about Parker Valby, an American track and field and cross country athlete. But let me tell you this, she exhibits the qualities of a fast rising track star. Perhaps in a few years, she'll be competing against Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas. In fact, Parker Valby has a long list of accolades, especially in the 5K. Last year alone, she was a gold medalist in the 5,000 meters at the 2023 All-SEC Outdoor First Team. She also backed up her 5,000 meter national title on the track outdoors with a statement victory over Caitlin Tui of North Carolina State. This game is a pleasant surprise, especially since Valby suffered an injury just before the 2023 indoor track season and had to sit it out. This somehow worked in her favor though, since she entered the SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships in mid-May more than prepared. For context, she only had one other opportunity to race and test her fitness. Her coach said her recovery was ahead of schedule and based on the intensity and effort of the race she won a week prior, a 15.32 solo effort, they knew she could still contend for the title in the 5,000 meters at SECs. And that's exactly what she did. Valby came away with the victory, holding off Mercy Chelengat, a two-time NCAA champion from Alabama, in a dramatic battle, finishing in 15 minutes 25.03 seconds to Chelengat's 15 minutes 25.07 seconds. Valby led for the majority of the race, slightly favoring one leg. Her lower left leg was in a compression sock with some tape on the back of her knee. I'm starting a new trend, she joked after the race with ESPN. Not long afterwards, she once again bagged a win in the 5K at the Nuttycomb Wisconsin Invitational, which proved to be a huge day for North Arizona University and thus for Parker Valby. NAU became the first school to sweep the championship races in Nuttycomb's 15-year history as the men won handily, 76-162 over BYU and the women upset number one NC State 52.95, though the Wolfpack were missing a few key contributors. The women's individual race was a duel between NC State's Caitlin Tui and Valby, who went 1-2 at NCAA XC in Stillwater the previous year. Although Tui obviously tried to match Valby's aggressive pace, she could not hold on as Valby broke her just after halfway and streaked to the win in 19 minutes 17.2 seconds for 6K breaking Ali Ostrander's 19.19 course record from 2015. What's more notable is the time, given the miserable conditions, 51 degrees, 19 miles per hour wind, and driving rain leading to muddy footing. With that, the 2023 Nuttycomb Invitational closed an exciting cross-country regular season. What's more, Parker made NIL history when she became the first female college runner to sign an endorsement deal with Nike. She notably joined a small class of college athletes to work with the sportswear company since the inception of NIL. Named a USTF CCCA Outdoor First Team All-American in the 5,000 meters, she has more than 59,000 social media followers. And those followers, both fans and sports enthusiasts, were ecstatic when Parker won the 2023 NCAA South Regional Cross Country Race in mid-November. Trusting her coach and herself, she ran and won the 6,000 meter run with a time of 17 minutes and 59.6 seconds. With this, Valby helped the Gators finish second in the regional meet. This meant that they would automatically qualify as a team to the NCAA championship. And so, after finishing runner-up in 2022, Parker Valby was crowned the 2023 NCAA Division Individual National Championship in dominant fashion and led the Gators to the best finish in Florida cross-country history. The victory then completed Valby's perfect season as she has placed first in all four meets she has competed in, including the Nuttycomb Wisconsin Invitational, SEC Cross-Country Championships, NCAA South Regional, and now the NCAA Cross Country Championships. From there, Parker Valby continued her way up, so to speak. She opened her first indoor 5,000 meter race with a bang, 
While the words season opener and new NCAA record normally do not appear in the same sentence, Parker Valby's performance made it possible. At the Sherry and Collier Danville season opener in early December, she became the first woman to run a sub-15 5,000 meter during collegiate competition. Valby finished in 14 minutes 56.11 seconds, a performance that is 16 seconds faster than the previous indoor collegiate record of 15 minutes 12.22 seconds, set by Emil Sisson of Providence College in 2015, and 7 seconds faster than NC State's Caitlin Tui's outdoor record of 15 minutes 3.12 seconds set in 2023. Valby went through 1,600 meters in 4 minutes 48.66 seconds, then split 9 minutes 38.82 seconds at 3,200 meters, followed by a 4 minute 42 second last 1,600 meters. Here goes sub 15, Parker Valby ready for home, she does it! With that, Valby is the first collegiate woman and youngest American to break 15 minutes. Simply put, before Parker came into the picture, no woman had ever run sub-15 minutes in the 5,000-meter race during collegiate competition. Although she beat Sissons and Tui's marks by over seven seconds, Valby did not expect to be in contention for the record. In an interview after the race, Parker shared, Honestly, crazy. I never thought that I could do that. I thought I was coming in. I thought it would be a struggle to run 15-20, to be honest. So. According to assistant track and field coach Will Palmer, it was a phenomenal first meet for the Gators. He said, The women showed up and raced hard across the board. He also expressed how proud he is of Valby. What a run, he said. Her race was the cherry on top of a great day. Unbeknownst to many, however, Parker Valby's relationship with running hasn't always been love. She begrudgingly admitted that there were times when the bond got complicated. Well, that's understandable. Each and every athlete out there has their ups and downs in the sport. Anyhow, at 21, she's come a long way from the little girl who tagged along with her parents to the Run Walk 5K, the local road race. Starting out in high school, she recalled that the track coach tried to get her to come out for track, but she was not sure about the shift, so she ended up doing track and lacrosse in her freshman year. But as can be expected, it ended up being way too much. I would not get home until 8.30 and it was way too much on my body, she shared. She further explained that the schedules overlapped a lot, so her mom urged her to choose between the two events. Then I ended up hurting my ankle playing lacrosse, and I was like, you know what, you can't get hurt running track. Little did I know, she shared with a chuckle. She did eventually get hurt, but she's doing better now, as many would agree. Valby says that these days, she is laser focused on doing her best at the NCAA. Being a part of a Florida program that has become one of the nation's powerhouses under the leadership of Mike Holloway is clearly of paramount importance to her. She says she's not really thinking ahead to the Olympic trials yet. I'm just taking it a day at a time and whatever happens, happens. The sky's the limit just to see what I'm capable of, just to be the best me that I could be. That we'd have to see. It's not hard to see that Parker Valby has a lot of potential to get to the top. Speaking of which, watch this to see who is actually considered to be one of the top of the sport at this time.